Hey guys, this is the fully functional 3D printed model roller coaster based off in Vertigo at Kings Island. I'm going to give you a little behind the scenes look of the full run through and this is specifically for the interview that Nick had asked me for at Coaster101.com so thanks for reaching out and let's give this thing a whirl. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to boot it up so everything's going to be turned on right now. Um, right now the machine doesn't know where the train is, so I'm, I did some pre-setup work and I'm just going to say, hey, train's at station, we're good to go. So that cues up the run light. But before we do that, I'm going to open up the gates. Gates are now open, and then what I'm going to do is if you look closely, oh, there we go, open up restraints. I double tapped it accidentally. And uh, we can wait for people to get on. Once people are loaded, we can go ahead and uh, close up the restraints. We can close the gates. And then we're ready to roll. So uh, you are all clear and out of here. That's it. All right, so this is the control panel for the roller coaster. I'm gonna give you a brief overview of what every button does, and you can check out the car behind me um, and see what each button does. So, first off, when you come up to the panel, it, this is you know the unpowered uh, panel, so I can just turn it back on. This is the emergency stop, so I'm just gonna flick it up. What it does is it just goes through a simple array, making sure every light bulb lights up. And right now you got a couple of options on what you wanna do, but first I just wanna point out this button that's lit up. Um, you'll notice that there's no labels. I really haven't had a chance to get the labels going. So you just gotta take my word for uh, what each button does. So right now, this guy's lit up. It's the reinitialize or initialize button. Um, the coaster doesn't really know where the train is. So it's up to the operator to say, hey, train's in the station, we're good to go. So I hit the initialize, this light comes on and this is the launch button. So we are now able to launch the train. But before we do that, let's just talk about some of the, the cool station features. So first off, these two lights control each lift hill. So this is lift one, this is lift two, and this is the jog uh, forward and backward. Right now you'll notice nothing happened when I hit this. That's because I need to tell the coaster which lift hill I need to jog. So we're gonna jog the second lift hill here. So that's this button, I'm gonna hit it down and then tell it to go forward, backward. And I don't think you can see it, but you can probably hear it. So yeah, that one moves around. Let me just set it back to the right spot. So it's in the right spot. Um, okay, so now that we know the lifts, they're good to go. Um, we need to get people on the ride. So uh, this button right here is for the restraints. I'm gonna go ahead and press it and we're gonna watch the restraints open. Restraints are now open. And then also, so people are coming off, we need to open the gate so that people can get on. This switch opens the gate so you can now see the gate is open. Okay, slow people finally get on. We're gonna close the gate. Boom, gates are closed. And then now we can go back and hit this button to lower the restraints. So now the restraints are lowered, people are on, we're at rock. So that's about it. There's really not much to it otherwise, uh, other than just hitting go. So we hit go, everything goes dormant, and then you'll see the lift hill will uh, go on and then it'll launch the train. So um, that's about it. All right, so let's talk about the station really quick. So each train car has its individual plunger that will go down and let the restraints go up. The last train here you'll see does not have the plunger installed because I have a camera sitting on the front seat, so there's no need to lift the restraints on that one. So it's really easy, you just take the plunger out and that's about it. Um, other key features is obviously the gates behind that are just controlled with um, uh, four bar linkage, it's pretty simple. And then the floor is just also the same thing. It drops and lowers and it's powered all by micro servos. So there's six individual servos, one per car above each car. And what the computer does is it homes the train uh, after each run so that we can then uh, lower the restraints and then open up the gate. All right, so that's pretty much it for the overview on the Invertigo roller coaster. If you want more information, just check out my Instagram or go to my website. Um, it's printmyridedetroit.com 
And uh, if you have any questions, just message me. I always love answering questions about the roller coaster. Um, one of the main questions is like, you know, what do I design the ride on and where do I print out all my parts? So let's go take a quick hike up to my room where I do all the design work. And I'll give you like a mini tour just so you kind of get an idea of um, where I work on uh, all the roller coaster stuff. So let's go check it out. All right, so this is where all the magic happens. Um, I got my computer over in the corner, got some tools for just, you know, putting different parts together quickly. Got another roller coaster up here. Um, talking about 3D printers. So on this wall, we start with the Lulzbot Taz 6. It's actually heavily modified. I actually 3D printed all the parts and built it and put it together myself. Um, we have two Flash Forge finders, and then there's also a Mendel Max 1.5 over here in the corner. And then there's a bunch of other stuff that I've been 3D printed, and then my also um, Super Ghetto filament holder. So that's that wall. And then on this wall, we have two Taz 5 machines. This is actually kind of Taz 6 and 5 parts put together to make a, um, a Taz. And then this I actually bought straight from Walls, bought standard Taz 5. So nothing too crazy about that. This is just a little station for, you know, putting stuff together. I have different uh, bins for different projects. So this is a 3D printer in pieces right now. As I said, we got the computer where we do all the CAD layouts. And then this is where I can just keep all my fasteners and everything. So um, just try to keep organized. Um, a couple other things is like in here, I have every single part to uh, build another 3D printer essentially. So lots of times I find myself in the middle of a job where like a machine will break down or I need to do some quick fits it fixes. So it's really great to have the parts available. So let's talk about the CAD really quick. So everything is designed in SOLIDWORKS. Uh, this is the CAD model right here. And what I usually do is I have like pictures up on the side here that kind of show, you know, get proportions correctly. I also go to Wikipedia to get some data. So that's pretty much it for the design. So that's it for the tour of the workshop. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me talk about the roller coaster and see where I actually do all the work. So uh, stay tuned. There's going to be more roller coasters. And you can follow me on Instagram and check everything out. So uh, thanks for watching.